Hey guys, Cole over here. Welcome to another Ray Challenges video. Guys, this one will be like a recap of everything that happened to the Doom Tower the past 12 days. As you can see, guys, I finished it. All the rewards have been collected. I finished almost all of the secret rooms. So those will be done, uh, you know, by the end of the month for sure. What is my experience of the Doom Tower? I'll cover it in this video. I'll just say the good things about it, what I think Clarim did right, what I think Clarim did wrong. What I think Plarium could improve on the Doom Tower and in general going forward with this new kind of content that we have here, guys. So, guys, Doom Tower is the new content that we have right now. I went straight to the Hard Tower, was um, making videos every single day on the more hard, you know, uh, stages that I've encountered. And yeah, finally, the Frost Spider last night stayed up until 5 a.m. to beat the, the Frost Spider. Uh, managed to get a team to, that can beat it. The Frost Spider did have unreasonably high resistance, even though I had an unresistible HP burn on her, which reduces her resistance. Even with that, I couldn't get anything through with about 400 accuracy on all of my champions that apply debuffs. I just couldn't get it through and beat her with the unresistible HP burn just slowly. Eight minutes run was my best one. The, the first run that I did was 10 minutes. Yeah, it was, it was a cool experience just doing this in a kind of a rush. In about two hours it took me because some of these waves were extremely, extremely hard. The toughest being this wave right here. It had, uh, I think, double roto CF in one of the waves. It was very, very hard. But my my team, my totally endgame team with Krisk, uh, Lydia, and two revivers here uh, actually beat it. So four Void champions and one that it's, you know, a huge tank, to be honest. Uh, Duchess is and yeah, I, I beat that in seven minutes or so and yeah, the global rankings are just insane in these because one minute to actually beat this Anyway, my my experience in the Doom Tower was I, I really enjoyed the the new um, you, you know the new challenge since I needed to test out my gear regear some of my champions just to beat this get more accuracy in there Maybe change and drop some speed for others and then of course some of the bosses required very very specific setups to beat that being said, the rewards overall of the tower are okay for 12 days of, you know, just doing content, getting two secret shards, a couple of uh, potions, a couple of chickens, um, a couple of glyphs. That's that's a, not a bad reward, guys. That's not a bad reward for a couple of days of content. Also, I just want to say that's the good thing that, that I say about the rewards. The bad thing is the Ultra Nightmare Clan boss gives you more rewards in 12 days than the Doom Tower hard version would. To be honest, in terms of uh, secret shards, you can get more. If you're finishing Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss every single day, getting that top chest, you will get more rewards. You'll get more secret shards on average in 12 days and you'll get by the hard Doom Tower by having, you know, hundreds of very good champions at level 60. So, that being said, if you're a new player watching this, guys, go and focus on the Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, getting a good team for that one optimizing your champions to beat that one and trying to get champions up to beat the clan boss first then you can focus on something like that if somebody else has finished and done that already guys focus on the faction wars next get lydia lydia is an amazing champion it shows here in the doom tower if you can beat that as well then this is what's left and this is just additional rewards but if your focus is just from day one okay i need to beat the doom tower because this is out right now all the content creators are doing it no we're doing it because we've been doing this for at least myself almost two years playing the game and also covering it. Uh, well, not two years, but one and a half year <laughs> uh, of covering the game and playing it. So that's that's on the reward side. The other thing that honestly disappoints me now that I think of it is the crafting uh, aspect of it. I've done all the bosses. All the bosses drop crafting loot, okay? The crafting loot that's dropped is used to craft material for items that each each boss does you can go to the forge and see which sets can be crafted so affinity breaker untouchable fatal and frostbite I covered them in other videos before you guys know them they are not nothing special none of these four make me go wow i need this set right now honestly out of the forge the best set right now for me is the perception set if i had all the materials available i would just keep crafting this i just want to keep uh, getting more rank charms and rarity charms just to craft these because these are the best kind of sets, they're better than accuracy sets because they give you some speed as well. That's it. That's why they're better. The Swift Parry is okay, but I just don't seem to get lucky. And you need to uh, beat events to get the Core Hammers, which is pretty hard to, to do, actually. 
uh, all the time. And yeah, this match is still actually going to cap again. I need to craft more. That being said about the, the crafting, guys, what I think Plyum should have done and maybe should do in the future is totally change the way that the gear and crafting of sets comes in the Doom Tower. Maybe when they change the crafting sets again, what I'd recommend, and hopefully Plyum is watching this maybe once, I don't know, send it to Plyum. What they should do is, what if the Doom Tower dropped sets to actually help you beat the Doom Tower faster? So, for example, we have Scarab King in the current Doom Tower uh, iteration, the current Doom Tower uh, cycle. The Scarab King needs destroy sets. What if we had a better version of the destroy set here? So, like the immunity set is a better, the untouchable is a better um, version of the immunity set. What if we had a better version of the destroy set? It will give you, uh, you know, 40% of your damage instead of, uh, you know, it will give you an additional bonus to the destroy set. That that was what I wanted to say. It will give you an additional bonus in actually bringing down the enemy's max health. What if we had a, a set that gave you a chance to apply an unresistible buff for the frost spider? What if we had a, you know a set that gave you a, a shield to your whole team? If you did X number of damage, what about that? That could that could be a fun kind of aspect we don't have any kind of those sets that give you shield instead of healing what if it did you know um any overheal so if you're 100 health and you attack something and you heal back you gain a shield to your whole team that could help you beat uh you know other bosses i think it's the nether spider so that's the idea that's because i, I played well i played world of warcraft in the past the sets that would drop in in the the raid there would help you beat other raids okay if you have the full set from one raid, it will help you tremendously in beating the next raid. So the idea behind what I'm saying, guys, is now is just not to confuse you is what if you started doing the normal tower and saw that you were having difficulties, but throughout beating the normal tower, you, you would get crafting materials and slowly build up your sets on your champions, slowly building up them, making them stronger so that you can actually beat the hard tower because you've beaten the normal tower. So none of your champions would really matter so much like ours did because we have hundreds of champions that are really, really good. What if the gearing aspect was most important and it would make us also as content creators have trouble because maybe if they, if Plyo made the content more hard and need those sets, those new sets to actually be beaten, maybe we wouldn't have, uh, there wouldn't be so many people actually beat it from day 12, which is the minimum day one day per 10 stages to beat it. That, that's just my idea, guys. So hopefully in the future, Plarium changes their uh, mindset behind the Doom Tower, make it harder in that sense, give us something to craft, grind our way through. I think that will make us more, uh, you know, okay, I've got 15 silver keys right now. I, c I need to craft this set because this boss kicked my ass. I cannot progress through this boss without that set. I'll be farming this boss for the next 10 days. That's something to work on and that, that's what games have usually some goal that they make you focus on and if you focus on that goal you feel you know that sense of accomplishment I don't like don't like the phrase I think it's from EA but <laughs> it helps you also beat the boss eventually and it feels cool actually beating a challenge a real challenge and not having to really depend on gear that you get from other places and not the actual place that has been being designed for so long okay guys uh, that's my thoughts on this. Uh, I'll be doing more of the secret rooms and making videos on those in the future. None of them really was a challenge. Maybe the all rare attack ones and some of these uh, like the um, Lizardman only. This one I just need to level up four of them to 50. I think I should do this and get the other two done and get the remaining of my champion fragments for that. That being said, guys, I did enjoy the Doom Tower. I'll be doing more videos on that. I'll be trying maybe to do the normal Doom Tower with that comment. I'll see that how that goes. I'll start with a few videos on that going through stage one to 10. Maybe call it the uncommon challenge, the common Doom Tower challenge. And yeah, let's see how, how that goes. Guys, what are your thoughts on Doom Tower? Leave it down in the comments below. Um, are you stuck somewhere? Do you want to see content on a specific wave or boss? either in the normal or hard Doom Tower with some specific champions. Leave it down in the comments below, but because I'd like to help you guys out, I'll make videos hopefully with those champions if I do have them and you know get more content that you guys will enjoy and find helpful. That's what, why I'm doing this channel. 
That being said, finishing off 31 signatures. I'll be opening them tonight on stream. The link down below is in the description, twitch.tv uh, slash uh, cold brew gaming. You'll see that there. I do have 31 shares. I'm not going to open them now. I'm going to open them live on stream. Uh, right when this video is live, if you're watching this right now, just, yeah, okay, watch the ads, close it, go to twitch.tv and I'll be live. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the, in the next one. See ya.